Hi everyone, Frank Spangler here for Learning Media Skills and for today's quick tip, we're going to take a look at how to adjust the transparency settings in your media clips. Now, some might wonder why would you ever want to adjust the transparency of your media? In reality, it is actually something that you do more so with graphics, but it is something that we can also do to our stills and our video clips. So let's just take a look at that. Now, normally, if we wanted to fade up from black, we just drop a color mat uh, on our timeline, maybe bring it in a little bit, and then just do a quick uh, dissolve. And I've got that set as my default transition, so it was very easy to slap that on with a keystroke. And now we are dissolving up from black to a full 100% transparency. However, we could do that just direct from the timeline as well. Let's get rid of our uh, mat and Notice the little arrow over here under the video track one. Let's just click that so it's down. And you'll notice if you look very closely, you'll see a line at the very top of the expanded clip there. And what it, that is telling you is that it, these clips are at 100%. But they do seem to be grayed out. You can't really move them at all. Uh, even with the Alt key held down, you can't move that down. So what's wrong? Well, as we go over to our side panel here, we see that there is a little word here. It's called Mix, and it is grayed out as well. You have to click this once in order to activate the transparency levels of your media. You'll see now that they're a nice bright blue, and we could point at any one of these and drag that down. Trouble is, if you just point to it and click, you're going to create a node, and when you drag your mouse down, you're just going to drag that node down. So just like in uh, working with audio, what you need to do is hold the Alt key down first before you point to it and, cl and click on it. So we can see as we drag this down, we're down to about 50% transparency. We could make it zero by dragging it all the way down. So if you wanted to do a manual fade up from black, then all you'd have to do is click um, somewhere, maybe a second or two, second and a half into the clip and create a node there and then go to the very end or the very beginning, we should say, and uh, find the little node there. It's a little hard to see, but it's there. Find it and drag it down uh, right to the bottom to start at zero. And now as we play the clip, we're going from zero right on up, uh, just using that, those manual transparency settings. All right, but like I say, it's more likely that you'll use or need to use this when using a graphic. A lot of clients like to put their logo on the video that you create for them so that everybody can easily identify uh, who it is that's creating the video or just plain advertising. So let's drop on a logo. Now, right away, we see that it's uh, full screen. We don't want that. So hitting the F7 key, we open up the Layouter key. We can grab any corner of this and make it much smaller. Uh, probably the client would want it even smaller than that. And then we can drag it into a corner to act like a, a bug or a station identification, whatever it is that you need there. And uh, once you've got it positioned the way you like, just hit OK. And then, as we look at it, we see it's a little strong. And even the client, even the one who's wanting to promote themselves and advertise for themselves might say, you know, that is so strong there, it's distracting from the video. And I'm just wondering if you can maybe fade it a little bit, they might say. So again, we have to go uh, on level two and open up the little arrow there to expand that and turn on our mix and now we can drag down the transparency of that so that it's about 50%. And the client's probably going to be happy with that. Another area where I like to be able to use this transparency setting is for titles. Um, I'm not a big fan of titles popping on. I'd rather see that slowly fade up. And uh, so what I'll do is just uh, set my node grab the end one and now instead of popping on I get a nice fade on. If the client says you know I, I like that but it's a little maybe difficult to read could you put some black behind it a little 
kind of a trans half transparent background behind it so that the text can stand out more and of course we can do that let's uh let's maybe take our graphic or title up one layer to the next video layer and uh, put in a uh, black background and how we can do that is just uh, go up to our bin window and click on the big T there that opens up quick titler and when that's open let's just maybe make it a little smaller so we can not only see the title tool itself but also how it looks over on the uh, record monitor what we want to do is go over to the left hand column here and click on the little rectangle here and once that's selected we can go over to our text and just draw a text box behind it just click down with your mouse drag it down and then drag your mouse across and once you've got it lined up there the way you like just let go of your mouse and it creates the half transparent background and uh, at first glance it looks like it's covering the text but actually uh, once you save it and you can do that either under file save or just by simply going up to the corner here hitting close it'll ask you if you want to save it it'll give an automatic name to it so don't worry about that and uh, just hit yes and it will show up here in the bin window and we can just drag it down and as long as we have that uh, text box below the title one layer of video track below the title then it's going to go underneath it instead of on top of it if we had it up here and we put it down here then yes the uh, box would be over top of the text so just make sure it's on the right layer the thing is as we look at this it's just a little too dark right it, it uh, kind of takes away from the beautiful video clip we have here and so we want to make it more transparent and how we do that is just hold down the alt key go to our blue line there click on it and drag it down I'll say about half you can kind of watch the progress over on the monitor and uh, when you see something you like just let go of your mouse and there it is fixed at about 50 percent biggest trouble is now um, the box itself pops on right <laughs> and uh, looks funny because it's coming up faster and uh, more abruptly than the text itself so we what we want to do is just go in and also have a fade on for the box itself and that looks a lot better so there you have it how to add transparency to your media clips your graphics and uh, give you more control of how they fade on fade off and uh, the amount of transparency any given piece of media will have and uh, if you're finding these lessons helpful and you haven't yet subscribed i want to invite you to do that and we'll catch you down the road so long for now